Happy New Year, everybody. It is Debbie with Scrap for Therapy, and I have a journal to share. Um, I made this, I think, right before the holidays. I needed to give myself a little um, Christmas journal break, um, and I did this. This was inspired by so many people. Um, I think we all go through this. It's so hard to remember who started what. Um, but if you're a part of this community, you know um, that ideas go around and round, and these are not my original ideas. Occasionally I come up with something, um, and even if I do and I think I created it, if I do a little bit of research, I'll find out that usually it's been around for a while. So um, the journaling community, my early roots as a scrapbooker, um, things go round and round. So credit goes to all the artists involved in the craft. This is a Manila file folder. Some of you may remember a haul I did a while back where I got a bunch of them at the thrift store, so I am trying to use them. Um, so it's a Manila cover. I did some tissue paper that was inspired by Gail Augustinelli. Um, and then I covered it with fabric, some antique lace, let's hope we can get that, burlap, a metal piece, and the word cherish. I made a small, um, oh my god, what's that called? Not binding, spine. Um, and there is one signature inside. So it opens, and here we have, I'm going to try to adjust this light a little bit. It looks kind of washed out. The story begins in a library pocket, and this is all scrapbook paper, little fabric-backed embellishment pocket here. Uh, there we go. Oh, my lighting is, I gotta do something about that. Um, a little coffee stained paper. This is really meant for journaling. There is a lot of writing space, places for the eye to rest. This is ledger paper, trimmed in lace with a little bit of gold for Happy New Year, and an embossed envelope. Not sure I can catch that which just fits right there. Little tab, I will be adding a little bobble here. Um, I'm just waiting for them to arrive. Envelope, this is a tag from a magazine and then it is backed with the journal paper, um, aged journal paper that I have. It's super fragile, so I always back it. Um, stamping on the blank pages. This came from a deconstructed mini album that I made. Um, I was not using it and wasn't going to, so I took it apart and used the page here. This flips out, creates a pocket, and then this tag, um, again, created... I don't remember where I first saw this. I want to say... Oh, shoot. I'm not sure. I don't want to say the wrong thing. And that just opens up there. Um, I love those tags. If you know, please give the person credit. This is another big tag backed again with the lined paper. Fits right in here. This little tab. This is an envelope with a scalloped edge on coffee stained tracing paper that actually has a graph print to it. Another coffee stained patterned page stamped. This is a piece of wallpaper, little journaling tag, sewn lace, and also backed in coffee dyed paper because it's kind of fragile. This is a magazine page which is backed um, from Restoration Hardware. I love this page. It's of a chandelier, actually, but it's super sparkly. And then this tag, again, opens up for a lot of journaling space. Blank page. Another 
with open tag. This is a little white sack layered um, with many little things, pieces of paper, um, music, gauze, tickets, brad, and then an embellishment up here out of some bling. This is a little double corner pocket with a fancy tag um, that was actually painted. This is a piece of vellum with a doily. Another page says imagine, inspire, journey, and dream. And on this page, um, we do have the little dangles, a heart, and a star. This other side of the vellum page with a journal tag, again with the paper and a double pocket. The fabric actually matches the vellum. And then this tag, I love this tag, um, lace, and it has a charm, which in its past life was an earring. And that just slips right there. And then again, over here, a double pocket on the music page and a flip out tag. Here we have, again, something recycled from a mini album. This opens, it's got a little Velcro closure, and then this tag lifts out along with this tag. So it's like a little peekaboo thing. This is a magazine photo backed again in that journaling paper. And then that little door closes. Um, this little layered corner, um, tracing paper, tissue paper, and a ticket. This is the other side of the magazine page. This is really kind of Happy New Year-ish with the bling. Not sure it captures. Lace trimmed. The other side of the wallpaper with a tag here in a little library pocket that lifts out. Stamped page. More coffee stained paper. This opens up. Another large tag slash writing surface. And then this again, taken out of a mini album. The first, this was a tag. Um, it's lace, several layers of lace um, here, here, and then this trim. And then these two tags, one is decoupaged from a napkin. The other is raised, if we can catch the glitter, there we go, um, gold embossed dots, and then both are coffee stained. Okay, this is the other side of a bag. Nothing in there, but space for secret journaling. This will also have a bobble. The other side of the ledger paper more writing space, another pocket with these big cards that I found at the thrift store in a binder. I love these, they're customer worksheet call reports, so it has all that, but then on this side, lots of lines for journaling space, and I used some antique um, doily there. And then the last page, and this book belongs to. So there you have it. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned this is antique lace as well. Came from my great aunt. Um, I have a whole bunch of things like that, so I like to share them on occasion. This will be in my Etsy shop at some point, hopefully today. Um, today is Monday the 7th. I can't believe we're a week in. Anyway. Thank you all for your time and for watching, and I wish you the most blessed new year of all. Take care. Bye.